guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday, March 29th, 2019, which means today is the official opening day of Dumbo, the new live action film from Disney and Tim Burton, which is of course based on or adapted from the original animated Dumbo that we all know and love. It officially opens in theaters today. However, I went last night with my parents to a 6 p.m. showing of the film. We actually saw it on IMAX, so it was huge and um, very exciting and after the film was over we all agreed that we had some pretty mixed feelings about it so I wanted to sleep on it before I hopped on camera to talk about it but now that I've processed it in my dreams a little bit I wanted to come on here and give you my spoiler free but definitely not opinion free review of the new live action Dumbo film. I want to start this review on a positive note so first I will talk about the things that I really loved about the movie. The number one thing that I just loved about the new Dumbo is all of the nods to the original animated film. There are several very overt nods to the original Dumbo and if you are a Disney fan and if you've seen the movie even not that recently but you've seen it maybe once or twice in your life you will totally recognize them and it'll make you smile and you'll get the warm fuzzies inside and you'll be like yes Disney Dumbo like this is it this is the classic image or whatever and then there are also several subtle nods to the original film that you might not be able to pick out unless you're really looking for them or you might not be able to pick them out unless you've seen the film recently but there are definitely some great tributes to the original movie and I loved that as a Disney fan I just geeked out so hard over those moments a couple of those moments were musical moments so hopefully that's not spoiling anything but there will be some sort of musical tributes to the original and I loved that the most I think of all the second thing I loved about this movie was the visuals. It was visually absolutely stunning. It's a Tim Burton film and what I love about Tim Burton movies is they're kind of hit and miss but even if they miss they're usually pretty amazing to watch. Just visually it's eye candy, it's creative, there's tons of details and like quirky things to pick out and visually this movie is like a total feast for the eyes. It's obviously set in a circus with a show business theme and that really opens the door for like all kinds of amazing creativity and uh, visuals from Tim Burton and I do not think it disappoints at all on that level. I'm really glad I saw this one on the big screen rather than waiting for it to come to my living room because I think having like a big screen to watch that gorgeous film on was pretty awesome. So number two thing I liked was it was absolutely beautiful. And the final thing I really loved about the movie was Dumbo himself. I was worried going in that I would not be able to connect to a CGI elephant because you know CGI is like pretty amazing these days but you also know in your mind like that's not real. Um, so when the movie started and they first revealed Dumbo, I was a little bit worried that I wasn't going to be able to get emotionally invested. And fortunately, that was not the case at all. He was adorable. It totally was like a grab your heartstrings and pull and pull and pull kind of movie when it came to Dumbo himself. They got the eyes right. And he's just, he's just a little doll. And you're just rooting for him the entire time. So I loved how they treated Dumbo for the most part. There was a story turn that Dumbo kind of took that I was a little bit less crazy about but in general I think that actual Dumbo himself little cutie um, was was done justice by by this film now I want to talk about a couple things that didn't really work for me and the first thing that didn't really work for me unfortunately was the acting there are quite a few famous people in this movie um, Danny DeVito's in it Colin Farrell's in it Michael Keaton's in it and all of the famous people gave kind of weird but not that great of performances in my opinion. Danny DeVito for the most part did his Danny DeVito shtick. It did improve a little bit toward the end of the movie when like the story took a more I guess like heartfelt turn. Um, Colin Farrell was kind of unremarkable like I, I hate to say that he was boring because he's so beautiful but I was kind of bored by his performance I didn't really connect to him emotionally at all and then Michael Keaton gave a performance that I thought was like so over the top that it didn't fit the movie at all like it was over the top even for a Tim Burton film I actually felt like Michael Keaton was trying to be Johnny Depp in a Tim Burton movie if that makes sense if you don't know what I'm talking about that's cool but if you know what I'm talking about and you watch this movie tell me your thoughts on that Michael Keaton was like trying to be Johnny Depp in a Tim Burton movie but it didn't work 
I mentioned a moment ago how much I was able to connect to the character of Dumbo, and unfortunately that did not hold true for really any of the human characters. I felt like all of the human storylines that were written for the film to kind of flesh it out mostly felt like filler, or they felt kind of like forced plot devices. A lot of it did not feel authentic to me, and I can't figure out if it's like the acting that was lacking, or the writing was weird, or I just... It, maybe it's too hard to act with a CGI elephant, I don't know, but the human emotional element of it for the most part did not connect with me. I will say there were some performances from some more minor supporting characters that did connect with me emotionally, but in general like the main cast and the main like storyline kind of didn't do it for me. It was, it was really disappointing for me um, in that sense. Something else that I think people are going to be mixed on is this film is kind of dark in moments. Now, it is Tim Burton, so you can kind of expect it's going to be a little bit dark. It's not Nightmare Before Christmas dark, and it's not, you know, Sleepy Hollow dark, but there are definitely some dark moments and a few dark themes in play, and my dad's comment after we saw the movie is that he would never take kids to see it. Now, my comment back to him was, if you watch the original animated Dumbo, that movie is actually kind of dark. There's some very dark themes happening in the original animated film. I don't necessarily personally take issue with that. I kind of like movies that have a lot of different colors. I love that there's like happy stuff and dark stuff and that shows kind of like the different shades of, of human and animal experience. So I wasn't too sad that there was some darkness. In fact, I expected it from Tim Burton. However, if you're thinking of this as a children's movie, there are definitely some moments that you are a little bit dicey um, for kids, just in terms of scariness overall. And finally, I also left the theater feeling a little bit mixed and confused about what the movie was supposed to be about. I kind of felt like there were various threads of like theming and storyline that we were meant to pick up on, but none of them were super strong. I think the strongest storyline emotionally for me in the movie was the relationship between Dumbo and Mrs. Jumbo, Dumbo and his mom. Um, and I think a lot of people that are familiar with the original animated film um, will be looking forward to that. And this movie like that's definitely there I'm not gonna lie I did cry um, twice in the movie but there were some other like threads and themes that they were trying to pull through that just did not um, it didn't really work like they didn't finish it or it wasn't strong enough or there is like one underlying message about the treatment of animals and animal welfare in the movie that is kind of like I don't know, it's kind of half-assed throughout the film, and then they get really blatant with it at the very end, and it just seems it just seems jarring, even though I agree with the message. I don't know, overall, the movie was kind of a miss for me. I really enjoyed watching it. Like I said, as a Disney fan, all of these live action films are so much fun to watch because it's amazing to see them reimagined, and like I said, the visuals on this were totally on point, and there were lots of exciting um, and kind of emotional moments but as a whole the movie fell a little bit flat or that I just feel like they just missed it I feel like there were missed opportunities I feel like there were some kind of weird choices that were made acting wise and directing wise the story takes a couple turns that I just kind of felt like weren't in line with the heart of the original film. I didn't need it to be like a shot for shot remake of the uh, animated film, and it's definitely not that, but I kind of wanted it to have the same overall essence and feeling of the original Dumbo, and ee, it didn't quite get there for me. It really didn't. You might be wondering after such a mixed review, should you go see it in the movie theater? And here's kind of my bottom line on that. If you are a big Disney fan, or a big Dumbo fan, or a big Tim Burton fan, then yes, I do think you should see this in the theater. I think that you might have mixed feelings about it like I did, but I think you'll also have a really enjoyable and entertaining experience watching it like I did. If you're not a diehard Disney fan, or a big Dumbo fan, or a big fan of Tim Burton's work, um, first of all, I'm surprised that you're watching this review, but secondly, you might just wanna wait till it comes out on video. Um, also, if you have young children and you're looking for a great movie for kids, I 
don't think this is it unfortunately I'm not um, I'm not a parent um, but I would say that for me this is like tweens age and above and probably not a lot younger than that just because there are several dark themes so that's it that's my take on the new live-action Dumbo movie hopefully I didn't spoil it for anyone I really tried hard not to I'm so curious to see what other Disney fans and other Dumbo fans think of this film so please leave a comment down below let me know if you're gonna see it this weekend if you do see it tell me your thoughts I'm totally open to people disagreeing with me this is just my opinion of course um, but I really want to know about it in the comments section down below so please let me know I'm dying to hear what other people think and I also hope people enjoy the visuals as much as I did so oh that's all for me I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll be back tomorrow with an unboxing and on Sunday with a Disney vlog so I got lots of fun stuff coming up and until then have a magical day and I I will see you real soon. Bye guys. Mwah.